nuclear fusion. It's often associated with mass destruction. Yet for more than 50 years, scientists have been on a quest to harness its power for good, to create a virtually limitless and carbon-free source of energy. How close are scientists to turning theory into reality? The 2010 PMI Project of the Year just may have put them light years closer. One of the primary goals of the National Ignition Facility in Livermore, California, USA, was to help scientists achieve nuclear fusion in a lab setting. Ed Moses, Ph.D., Principal Associate Director at NIF, explains. When we look up at our sun, it is pouring out energy all the time and it's keeping us warm and providing for the comfort of life on Earth by fusion of hydrogen atoms deep inside the sun. We'd like to do that on Earth in this laboratory, in this target chamber right behind us. Construction of the facility, which began in 1997, was a massive project. Initial budget, 3.5 billion U.S. dollars. Facility size, 500,000 square feet. Amount of excavated soil, 210,000 cubic yards. Concrete poured, 73,000 cubic yards. More than 7,000 workers completed NIF three weeks ahead of schedule and two million U.S. dollars under budget. Such a significant undertaking was not without challenges. For example, the target bay, which serves as the target point for 192 lasers, had to be installed more than 49 feet, or 15 meters, below ground. Workers pumped concrete for the foundation in one long, continuous pour, an operation that lasted 18 hours. Another obstacle emerged six months after the groundbreaking when heavy rains from El Nino flooded the NIF worksite. It took wet weather construction engineers three weeks to restore the project. Then, a month after the flood, crews unearthed the remains of a 16,000-year-old mammoth. Construction halted for four days as paleontologists worked to remove and preserve the skeleton. By August 1999, the project was under severe scrutiny with forecasts of massive schedule and budget overruns. The NIF management team had misidentified the project's scope and greatly miscalculated its engineering complexities. To get the project back on track, the team developed a new baseline cost and schedule. New cost and risk management practices were established. A new senior leadership team was put in place, and industrial firms were enlisted as construction partners. Working together, the team built the world's largest and highest energy laser, as well as the world's largest optical instrument. 192 laser beams are comprised of nearly 60 miles, or 97 kilometers, of mirrors, fiber optics, crystals, and light amplifiers. Each laser must fire simultaneously at a tiny target of hydrogen fuel housed in the 130-ton target chamber. When the laser hits, the hydrogen heats to more than 180 million degrees Fahrenheit or about 100 million degrees Celsius. The nuclei of the hydrogen atoms fuse, and the reaction, which mimics a phenomenon found only in stars, results in the release of a vast amount of thermonuclear energy. Throughout the construction process, collaboration among government, academia, and industry fueled innovation. Challenged with the need to secure enough KDP crystals, large enough to be cut into plates that will convert infrared laser beams into ultraviolet light, the team turned to Moscow State University in Russia. Scientists from the school helped to devise a way to grow the crystals in two months, compared to the two years required with traditional techniques. The process, which didn't exist when the project was conceived, allowed NIF to stay on schedule. After nearly seven years of testing, the National Nuclear Security Administration certified the facility's equipment in March 2009. NIF officially opened two months later. In January 2010, scientists at the facility set a world record by firing more than one megajoule of ultraviolet energy into a target the size of a pencil eraser. That's about 30 times the amount of energy previously delivered to a target by any laser system. Such a monumental breakthrough wouldn't have been possible without the coordinated efforts of the NIF project management team. And although there is no guarantee that ignition will ever be achieved, NIF officials called the accomplishment a major milestone that demonstrates the facility's power and reliability.
just about every aspect of this project was unprecedented in scope, scale, and complexity. It required groundbreaking technological achievement every step of the way. Constructing the National Ignition Facility has been an amazing accomplishment, but equally exciting is the transformational science that it promises to bring us. Through NIF, we will push further the frontiers of human understanding and knowledge. Visit PMI.org for more from PM Network and other publications from the Project Management Institute.